two-time Paralympic gold medalist who foxtrotted his way to Strictly Come Dancing fame and just recently uncovered some shocking revelations about his own family mm. history in Who Do You Think You Are? Um, we'll tell you who he is. He is Johnny Peacock. Very good to see you, um, Johnny. And, um, you know, you, you got on to Strictly uh, because of your, your profile as a sportsman, but Strictly must really then have catapulted and helped you to do the things we're talking about today because this weekend uh, you're taking part in what's called the Superhero Tri Event, mm -hmm. which must make you a bit, I mean, seriously, I mean, the sports thing, brilliant, but then Strictly, does that make you a bit of a magnet? for kids and, and, you know, inspiring people? <laughs> um, I think it definitely helped. I think Strictly was a bit of a breakthrough uh, in a lot of ways for kind of kids dancing. And in the UK, there's not, there's not very many events that really cater all-inclusively uh, for all disabilities for kids. So the Superhero Series is an incredible event because it really just caters for everybody. This is an event I've been involved in for a couple of years, so I've really seen it kind of get bigger and bigger. Sophia Warner, an ex-Paralympian, actually set the whole, the whole thing up. Um, but I think for me, um, it is really just, it's, so, it's just an important event in itself for getting everybody involved. I mm. think that there's so many, it's not just myself, there's so many people that, that kind of captain teams, obviously I'm captain of Team Empower, yeah. but there's Adam Hills, I think, David Weir's been before, you know, there's huge names What kind names of that questions do the kids ask you? I mean, they presumably feel they can ask you anything. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the great thing about kids, they're very honest and they just, they just go so for it. So what kind of things are they um, coming up with asking you? I think sometimes I'm wearing my blade there, so a lot of questions are about that. Um, I think a lot of kids just, a lot of kids want hugs. Uh, like Aww. photos and things like that, but yeah, it's just really fun, and they're, and they're having a great time because, like I said, that there's not actually many events that they kind of get to go to yeah. because there's there's sometimes there's rules or there's kind of ways that you've got to yeah. get through the. And is participation on. in sport really still too low for those with any kind of disability? Um, I think it's getting better, um, and I think it's good. I think you know, I think we're all humans, and we all, when we want to do something, we'll make it happen, you know. And I think that this super series just makes it easier. You know, it's just something that there that is, that is so... Good luck. So I love to see, you know, all that inclusion. And in a way, it's a bit like Strictly. I mean, because, you know, you've got people with different abilities in very different ways. Um, I'm not just talking about yourself. I'm talking about, like, useless people like my wife, you know, who <laughs> were there. Well. I definitely categorise myself. And... Yeah. Apart no. from Johnny, she was could my I, could I just Could I just say, could I just... Because I'm pretty <laughs> sure you put her out on the dance hall. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shaking my hand? Well, my, friend, my friend Ruth and I remember Ruth, this. No. She remembers no. this as a wonderful journey. And I just remember it as torture, week after week. And when it came to an end, and it was a sanitised <laughs> end, I thought, that's my boy, well done. Oh. <laughs> you know, it was... So you ended Ruth's dancing ambitions? I oh, don't... Uh, stri strictly is cutthroat sometimes, I should yeah. say that. Yeah, it's cutthroat, yeah. you know, you just focused on yourself and you're trying to dance. I was so happy when she went out, and do you know what? She was so sad. Even now, today, she talks about... <laughs> she's a bit jealous that new people are being announced Aww. with Anton and yes. dancing partners and uh, what's-her-name, oh, oh, T, with you. Yeah. Do you. Would you look and see who she's got this year? Yeah, for, for sure. Bit of jealousy. Uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's somebody that you spend she a lot of your time with. She wants me, you know. She's, she wants me. Yeah, she mentioned it. We all do. We know this. She's told Island. me. She said, and I've said, nope, nope. But after you shaking my hand after getting Ruth kicked off, I think Ruth's going to be looking to get you out as soon as possible now. Yeah, <laughs> she will. Will your hips handle Strictly? No. They won't. No, I won't. Shame. No, I, that's I, a lot of I mean, the physical, I mean, you really know Johnny as an athlete. Don't underestimate the physicality of, of that. Yeah, oh, not at all, not at all, yeah. I think yeah, there's a lot of hours that go into it. These guys are going to have a, yeah. a lot of training and it's, to get through. You know, you broke new ground by doing that show, and I know you probably didn't want to do it in that way, but it was it was fantastic. Yeah. And, you know, I thought for me, when your mum, I remember hearing her say, and it, it was really emotional when she said, oh, I've not really seen him dance properly for ages, you know, because I suppose... Probably ever. Probably <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. But it was so lovely. Um, there's another thing this year about breaking new bounds boundaries, which I don't think they're going to do, but um, I know Judge Rinder has said that he would like to see same-sex couples, if they wanted to, to do that on the show. Craig Revel Hallwood, one of the judges, has said that. And now Kevin Clifton, the professional dancer, has said, listen, I wouldn't mind at all. Would you welcome another change in Strictly, where they broke ground with you, to do it again? Yeah, for sure. I think I, as a viewer, would definitely enjoy that. I wouldn't see any differently. Yeah. yeah. I think, for sure, I think that, you know, Strictly is... It's, it, I think Strictly's got the platform to really showcase a lot and to kind of make changes and to kind of show, I guess, they really should be a front runner. You know, I think that was one of the big reasons why I went on there, obviously, was to kind of showcase 
what I really wanted to achieve myself was I wanted to be able to have the blade out one week, obviously like in the jive and make it kind of look cool and have kids look at it and think, oh, that's really cool and give them Amazing. a bit of confidence in that. But then also on the flip side, a week later, come back with a pair of trousers and have perhaps somebody who doesn't know me not necessarily know straight away that I've got a disability yeah. because people suddenly you go, I'm disabled. And well, people just switch. watched you dance. You can't people do that. watched you dance. That, yeah. That's what you can see. You're fantastic. And uh, you're they're going to watch you compete. And, <laughs> and you're going to yeah. inspire all those kids um, yeah. this Saturday. Uh, superhero Windsor, Tri yeah. event, yeah. Dorney Lake, Windsor. And that's where the, where the Olympics and Paralympic events were, where many of them were held um, when they were in London. Good seeing you, mate. Thank you very Good much. See you. Say hi to Ruth. I will do. <laughs> She'll never forgive you, but there we go. <laughs>